Hello, teachers. Happy to be back with you again. Very often, you know, when we go into a classroom, we ask some questions to the children. And when they don't answer, very casually we make a remark, you should be a little more intelligent. Right? We should do that. All of us are blessed with a lot of intelligence, but maybe the kind of uh, display of our intelligence varies depending on various factors. There was a time when we looked at what's called the IQ. We tried to distinguish the, peer, the learners in terms of the uh, intelligence quotient. There were a number of measurements which came, scales which came to define the, inter, the IQ, right? At some point of time, Howard Gardner, a uh, uh, celebrated uh, uh, psychologist from the Harvard, uh, came with the idea of what is called multiple intelligences. Uh, and he, uh, he listed about seven different types of intelligences which, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, which are present in each learner and which manifests at every point of time to every learner depending upon various factors over there. And slowly and steadily we moved from seven intelligences to nine intelligences. And uh, uh, you might have heard about uh, Daniel Goldman who did a lot of work on what is called emotional intelligence. And uh, emotional intelligence, of course, is not a part of the multiple intelligence. It's a separate domain. But nevertheless, emo uh, the Daniel Goldman came with a concept called social intelligence, uh, which possibly is considered as a tenth uh, uh, aspect of the multiple intelligences today. And social intelligence is a very important factor for celebration of life, uh, right? Right from the primary classes, we should develop children uh, in the, with a lot of social intelligence. Social intelligence uh, is uh, something where, uh, by which the children celebrate their self-esteem, their ability to connect to people, their ability to assert their behavior, their ability to communicate, their ability to uh, win over people. A number of factors are uh, you know, listed under the social intelligence over there. It is a capacity, it is the ability of a learner to communicate adequately to, the, uh, to a mass, to a community. Also understand from them the needs uh, and aspirations uh, in a given context. Uh, uh, that social intelligence is also an important factor for developing compassion, emp empathy, the ability to reach out, the ability to uh, interact with the people, to help the people when they are uh, in need. Because, you see, we are not uh, in isolation. We are not islands. Uh, all of us live together. So, a yes, social consciousness is very much important. If education is not going to develop a sense of social consciousness, you will find that the purpose of education is totally defeated. In order to be effectively so, uh, conscious about the society, we need social intelligence. Uh, uh, there. You remember one thing, that uh, people who are good teachers, who are good lawyers, who are good uh, marketing people, or who do even good actors, they need to have uh, good social intelligence. How do I position myself in a given society? How do I interact with people in the society, right? And how do I uh, contribute effectively to uh, the development of society, being a compassionate and uh, considerate citizen? And social intelligence is also required for, for adherence to law. Social intelligence is required, uh, you know, for uh, uh, being a part of, a successful part of an integrated society. Please uh, uh, look into uh, the books of social intelligence and try to understand various dimensions and try to, right from the KG class, how would you prepare your team behavior, your collaborative living system along with the children. And you would uh, remember that uh, the UNESCO, when it talked about uh, the directions for the 21st uh, uh, century, how the education should move, they gave four pillars of education. First, they said learning to know, then they said learning to do, then the third factor, which they said learning to get together. I think that's a very important message which relates to social consciousness. Please uh, ensure that your children are socially conscious, socially constructive, and contributive. We'll see you again. Thank you.